Hi guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Um, today I'm going to be doing a pot in a pot. I know I did one a couple of weeks ago. Excuse the mess. I'm trying to do two videos <laughs> in one day. Um, so I'm going to be doing a pot in a pot. I did one a couple of weeks ago. This is going to be another one, a little bit different. Um, so let's get to it. I already put the soil in here just to expedite everything and I'm going to try and zoom in a bit because I'm way too far and you're not gonna be able to see anything that I'm doing and I guess it's gonna have to be it because I can't figure out this camera and hopefully you can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna put this hot holder at the bottom Probably shouldn't have put as much soil as I did because now <laughs> I'm having a problem. But we'll see. So, let's see. Kind of want it to look like 3D ish. So, I have to take this out a bit. What's the matter, Zip, zip, zip. Amazing. Alright, that may be enough. I don't know. I don't know if that's sticking out more than I want it to because I'm going to be putting this back here. Like so. Alright, I hope you guys can see. And I might have wanted this to be lower because where are the plants that I was going to use? I think I need it lower. So, you know what? Let me take some of this dirt out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this dirt out, put it in here, so that I can dig where I need to dig. I need this to be lower. I feel like I keep putting it in the exact same spot. Oh my god, if I drop this whole thing. Alright. Did I just put it in the exact same spot? I feel like I am. I feel like I'm putting it... Maybe I should put it... Alright, there. I think I moved it now. Mess. Now I'm going to put this in here like so. I want it to look like it's on the saucer even though I don't know why I want it to do that because um, I want this to look kind of like a tree so I don't know why I'm putting it on a saucer but whatever. I got these little driftwoods from some old trees in my yard. I want it to look like this is the that's the tree um
tree stump and then I want this to be like the tree so I should have had a little more like it's a tree and you may not have the best angle there but when we're done we'll 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 see it all my goodness what a mess and I love these little um, wheeled trays from the 99 cent store they're the best all right and then I have these two little pots I'm just gonna make two little Tree friends here for him and I could have sworn I picked out my own little plants and I don't know what I did so let me get over here give me a So this is not going to be very colorful, which I'm not liking. So I usually like to have like really colorful things. And I'm going to use this as a cutting. So I'm going to cut this so I can also propagate. I like to cut and leave some leaves because it'll help with the propagation. If you leave a couple of leaves, it'll um, help for the stem to for the stem to start producing um, buds. Okay, little pups. So I'm gonna take some of these leaves off and I'll propagate these. I like to work with cuttings. Not only because I can propagate, but it's so much easier without the roots. So that's one little baby. And then I have this beauty that I'll put over here. This one's a little bigger and it has babies already. Stop me up. Trying to get the roots out as much as possible. And I don't need all these roots, so I'm actually going to cut some of them. Only reason I'm doing this is because somebody that I respect highly who has beautiful succulents, Miss Sanakabi, um, does this with her Korean succulents and she has the most amazing plants. So if she does it and it works for her, I am going to do it with full um, with full faith that my plant is going to be just fine. Okay. Look at that beauty. I'm going to cut a little more because this has a whole lot of roots. Alright. I'm going to put that one right there. Like so. Kind of like at an angle. 
side. I don't know if you guys can see it so far, but I'm liking it already. I have hot mess. I have some extra soil here that I had saved, which I don't even think I need. I did want some pebble rock, which I left. So I have some these are kind of big. Some rock. And it's kind of heavy when I'm done. I'm contemplating putting some blue for like sky. I just don't know how it's gonna look. I don't want it to look stupid. Cause I have blue sand, um, but I don't know how that's gonna, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want it to look tacky. So let's see. We shall see. Oh, that's super blue. Oh, I don't know. That is super blue. I'm not going to put a lot. Oh, a lot. And of course, I put a lot. So that's probably as much sky as I can take. Being kind of it's hard for me to see what I'm doing from this angle, but I'm hoping it looks nice. That's all I can say. And then I have these black um, gravel. I don't know if I should use this, which is what I used before. I don't think I'll have enough with this. So I'll use the gravel, the aquarium gravel. Which is black. I'm going from one extreme to the next. You know what? I probably... Oh my god. If the sky is blue... You know what? That's not sky. That's ocean. Okay? This is the sky. The sky is black. Because it's dark outside. Why are the pots in the ocean? I don't know. The ocean's behind the pots. How about that? <laughs> Clearly making it up as I go along. You know what? I think I'm going to take these driftwood out and then put the black behind it, and then this can stay there. Oh my god.
right, I think that's it. I dropped some black gravel there and I took too much about that. and not and hide what I don't want to see, you know? missing something and I don't know what it is um, plus this and I think I figured out what I needed well all I have anyway I have this little birdie little that's his little tree and I'm gonna use these little white rocks to try and make a moon and I don't know if that's gonna be a little too much but we'll see Let's see if I can make a perfect circle Probably. oh my god we'll be able to I'm not sure. come on oh my god I'm going to do this. <coughs> I have a tiny little pot. I'm going to see if I can make a perfect circle. I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's what I'm hoping to do. I don't know if that's where I wanted them to be. No, that doesn't even look like a moon. Now I regret that. Big time. It's not, it just looks like a mess. And I say little, I mean my giant happens when you try to do too much then it just takes on a life of its own
some more. Huh, does this even look like a moon? Does it just look like a chock full of mess? Now to take all these little white things out, after I did this, it's going to be, oh. yeah, I give up, these little white ones are cold. Alright, so I'm finished, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see. I tried to do too much and then I wound up making a hot mess, so sometimes you just got to just Keep it simple. Okay, so this is my pot in a pot. I'm happy with how it came out. It um, didn't take me as long as uh, a lot of my other <laughs> things typically take me. Um, but basically... Oh, I lost my little rabbit. But basically, this is, um, it's too big there. And there I go, fussing around. You know, I can never leave well enough alone. Okay, so I wanted this to look like a tree. I thought this was this whole work that was super beautiful and made it gave me that tree vibe. I used these little um, driftwood that I found on the floor near my home from uh, some down trees or down branches. I just used some cuttings here. This is a beautiful. Um, I don't even know what it is. A whole work thing. Yeah. It has little babies. The blue is supposed to symbolize the ocean behind the trees. I have the rabbit, the little um, bird loves the the tree. And I was gonna try and put a little moon or something in the background, but started doing too much and that was not working out. So this is the final product. I hope you guys like. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time. Let's make this world a more beautiful place, one succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye.